my gosh. Welcome back guys. I feel like this summer has just been a mess for me posting. We have had so many projects that we're working on and Connor's business has been so busy and we just have had no time for anything. So um, you guys will definitely be getting a lot of videos in the upcoming months, but today let me talk about what we are doing. So we are traveling further upstate and we're gonna be looking at this house that you guys see right here. So we're looking at this house as a fixer upper, possibly a project to do with Connor's cousins. Um, and we thought it could be like a cute, you know, just to fix it up and sell it or to maybe make it into like a little Airbnb or something like that. It's in a mountain town, um, like a ski area. So it would be great for that. Um, the house is listed at just $100,000 and we should have known something was majorly wrong when the realtor told us just to go into the house and that he wasn't going to be there with us. Um, but we were just like, eh, we'll just go. We'll just see what's happening. So from the outside, the house does look really beautiful. Definitely has a lot of potential. I thought this door was stunning. It's obviously in rough condition, but I could see what the house looked like um, when it was all beautiful. So I feel like listing agents, you know, have just been getting really good with how they take their pictures because this is now the second house in a row that we've looked at where it is just, oh my goodness, so much worse in person than the pictures look. And you can obviously tell it's rough from the pictures, but when you get there, it's so much worse. The whole house just smelled so damp and um, really like icky. Um, as you guys can see, there's lots of stuff everywhere. The walls are disgusting. Um, but I mean, that's like what a fixer upper is. You know, it's obviously not gonna be a beautiful house, which is completely fine. But this is where the major issue comes in. I'm not sure if you guys can tell from the video, but this floor is literally sinking in. Um, it almost looks like there's like a leaf or something right there. Like that is where the floor looks like it is just about to fall in. Um, all the furniture that was in there was beautiful. And then clearly when you look up, the ceiling in the second floor is about to cave in. Um, but it is really rough. I think that this area was probably the kitchen because there's no official kitchen in the house. Um, I was trying to show you guys like maybe a lower angle so you could see. I know it's like a little hard to see um, just from the video, but it was scary. And so we obviously decided not to walk into that room. There was lots of creepy things in this pile and it really was just a mess. As soon as we walked into the house, we were instantly like, this is a no. Um, you know, we're not scared of a bad fixer upper, but when it comes to structural issues, that is a huge no, no for us. Um, so we were like, we're not going to go upstairs. And then Connor started walking upstairs. So I just followed him. Um, we only went up to this step right here. And then we kind of just looked up the upstairs was a little bit of a weird layout because there was like this big open room. And it looks like that was another bedroom. And then maybe to the side over here is like a really big bedroom. So I don't know, It the house obviously is just a mess. And it's really sad because you could see how beautiful um, the house once was. In a little bit after these clips, I'm gonna show you guys another house that we tried to see. And it was a disaster. Um, but yeah, so this ceiling is also in this room falling down um, and there's just lots of junk everywhere. Um, so then there was like a little closet. Again, the staircase is so beautiful and I feel like this house could have been really great, but um, it's definitely a tear down house. I don't think anyone should attempt to fix it because honestly, it would cost so much money to fix it and it's really not worth a hundred thousand um, dollars here's another room it looks like it has like this bar in it which is kind of cool um, the bathroom the ceilings are so high and I feel like it could have probably been so uh, beautiful but it is just not taking care of it, it makes me so sad 
when these old beautiful houses are just abandoned and no one takes care of them. Um, we ended up talking to the neighbor and I guess the whole house was filled with antiques like the ones in this room and so the person bought the house for $15,000 um, a few years back and basically just sold off all the antiques and like made his money back plus more um, and then sold the house for $30,000 and now the person who bought it for $30,000 is trying to sell it for $100,000 it's just really wild. Um, but in the back of the house, there is this little cabin, and that's why this house is so cool because obviously it had the main house, and then this cabin, which was giving me Parent Trap vibes. I love the Parent Trap. It's one of my top favorite movies, so I really enjoyed this. Um, I feel like that would be something really cool to replicate in our future house, like a little cabin like this, either for like my parents to stay in or just as like a guest house, pool house, I don't know. Um, this looked really sketchy, so I was a little nervous to go on it, but I needed to see what was in this cabin. The neighbor told us not to go in, but I was like, nope, I need to see it for myself. So we opened up the door, and when you look inside, I did not go in there, and I was holding my breath the whole time. Um, but when you go inside, you guys will see how bad it is. The ceiling is completely down. There is black mold all over the place. And I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody could salvage this, but it would just cost so much money and it just really isn't worth it. The neighbor also told us that this roof is new, but the person who put the new roof on put it over top the rotted roof. So it's not actually a good roof. So it would also need a new roof. Um, clearly it's just really crazy, this property, and I don't know who would buy it um, unless they buy it as like a tear down for the land, but it really isn't worth that. So we decided to drive to the town and just see what it was all about. It is the cutest town ever. Um, so many fun colored buildings and lots of fun shops and restaurants. Um, so it's definitely a really great area. Um, maybe something else will pop up in this area, but that house was definitely not for us. So a couple of weeks later, I was on Zillow and I found this quote unquote beautiful farmhouse. We were so excited to go see it. It was on the market for a day. We called up our realtor. Our realtor made an appointment and we get to the house and when we get to the house it was on a main road which you know we kind of expected it to be but the traffic was so loud the issue that we had was that the lovely listing agents photoshopped all and any rot that was in like actually on the house they photoshopped it out of the house so you guys are going to be able to see here in a second um the, to the left there is tons of rot it's literally falling apart and here's the picture on Zillow um, when we zoomed in after we saw the house we were able to see that they clearly photoshopped it then to top it off the owner did not believe us that we had an appointment even though we were with our realtor and she screamed at us to get off her property so we didn't even get to see the house after traveling over an hour um, so that was a major fail, but I hope you guys enjoyed these houses. Let me know what you guys think of them.